they started stuck stuck in the fire pile with books. A whole bunch of books till I got the fire decently going and put some wood on it. Then I choked her over there. Where? Over there. It is my very sad duty uh, tonight to inform you that we have found the body of two-year-old Haley Dunbar Blanchett in a rural location near Blairmore, Alberta. The body was located during a police search based on information received by investigators and their efforts to locate Haley. The location of the discovery has been secured and investigators are now working to process the scene. Haley's family has been notified and we expend, extend our deepest condolences uh, to the family for their loss of Haley and also for the loss of her father, Terry. This is a sad day for the investigators, the citizens of Blairmore, and all the Canadians who hoped Haley would be found and returned unharmed. Our goal now is to complete the investigation into Haley's death and the death of her father, Terry. We are no longer asking for the public's assistance in locating the white van that was subject of the Amber Alert earlier seen near the Blanchette home in the early uh, morning hours of Monday. The Amber Alert issued yesterday in relation to Haley's disappearance is no longer in effect. The male suspect who was arrested in Blairmore earlier today remains in police custody for questioning in relation to the investigation into the homicide of Haley's father, Terry Blanchette, and her disappearance. She needs to come home. Where is she, buddy? There. Where is she? The devil made me turn her to ashes. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. It's okay. Is it in the bush where you burnt her? Is that where she died? Yeah, it's in the bush. How did you kill her? I choked her. Okay. Okay. Just like he choked me. Yeah. <laughs> did she suffer? A little bit. A little bit? He told me to save myself. For my own. He said I had to teach him the soul fiction. He said killing her would save you? So he says what he did. <laughs> How did you choke her? With the shoelace and a string. Where did you get the shoelace? I don't know where I got it from. I just had it in one of the bags. Did you cut her before you choked her to death, or did you cut her after? I choked her first. So she was dead when you cut her? Yeah. Okay. She was terrible. Yeah. I understand, but you're doing a great job, so you should start to feel better. This should be healing for you. Did you... Should be. <laughs> Probably won't be. No, it will. Still won't get me to where I want. It's a start, but it's the first day of the rest of your life. What did you cut of hers? What was that? What did I cut her with? What did you cut of hers? Like you, like what part of her did you cut? Let's just understand. It's not Legs, to judge. Arms. Tell me about Waste. it. Waste. You cut them off. I ate a little bit of her heart. You ate a bit of her heart? To try to strengthen mine. And how did that make you I feel? I drank a bit of her blood to try to you know, strengthen me. And how did that make you feel? A little bit stronger. Yeah? Well, maybe it gave you the strength to tell the truth to you. It did make me strong. It did? <laughs> For a bit. 
is such a contrast between the kinds of details that we were hearing from outside of the courtroom, you know, so grisly, so diabolical, really. I mean, he did say that the devil, uh, you know, told him to, to commit at least one of these murders. And yet, you know, you describe him as smiling and sometimes smirking. And, and that leads to an interesting and troubling issue. Given the overwhelming evidence in this case, the, the videotaped confessions, I kept wondering, why would he possibly plead not guilty to these three murders? And, and after sitting in that courtroom for so long, you have a theory on that. Yeah, I do. And, and I do have to reiterate that it is my personal theory. Um, but it's my perception that he wanted these details aired. And that is why he pleaded not guilty, because if he had pleaded guilty, it, none of these details would have come out. Um, so what the jury heard was that in his apartment, they found a book called The Serial Book of Serial Killers. Uh, and in his backpack, they found pages torn from that book. Um, upon further investigation on my own part, I realized that the, uh, the story detailed in, on those pages torn out was the story of Edward Gain, who was a murderer uh, in the early, earlier 1900s. And what he did has inspired uh, horror movies such as Psycho and Silence of the Lambs. Um, so as far as I can tell from what I've seen and heard throughout this trial, imitation was really uh, his motive for all of this and um, notoriety was his goal in pleading not guilty.